I am sure you've seen these attractive upside down tomato planters on YouTube or elsewhere. But have you ever wondered why they are grown inverted? In this episode, we'll discuss the four pros and the four cons of this inverted system for growing tomatoes or any other vegetable plant for that matter. Coming up. Before we discuss on the pros and cons, let's first learn how to grow tomatoes upside down starting from the seedling stage. You can grow tomato plants easily from seeds first in small containers or seedling trays and then transplant them to larger containers. If you do not have seeds, you can grow them from fresh tomatoes. And if you want to grow tomatoes upside down, choose a lightweight variety like the cherry tomatoes. Take any clean potting soil containing peat moss or coco peat and garden soil in 1 is to 1 ratio with some 30% compost like vermicompost or decomposed cow dung. Make multiple slices of the tomato like about 3 to 4 mm thickness and just place them in a container like this. Then cover it with a thin layer of potting mix and make sure it's not planted too deep. Finally, water this thoroughly and place it in a shady place like your windowsill. You should see the results within a week. When they reach a size of about 3 to 4 inches, you can transplant them in little larger containers independently. Adding a pinch of phosphorus supply like the organic rock phosphate or bone meal powder in early growth stage will help in stronger roots and a healthy disease resistant future plan. When these grow to about 8 to 10 inches, it's time for the final transplant to a larger container. To make them grow upside down, take any container like this hanging basket type container. Make a central hole of about 1 inch diameter. Then take a piece of foam and cut through it like this. Remove the root ball of your tomato sapling and gently remove the dirt from the roots. Insert the roots through the hole and then place the foam like this from the inner side of the container. Finally, pour the potting mix into the container. Make sure you have a good amount of compost and also mix a tablespoon of phosphorus supply like a bone meal or rock phosphate into this mix as already discussed. Water the plant thoroughly and hang it at your favorite place in your garden. You might have to water it daily or you can even mulch the top with some mulching stuff to avoid water evaporation too quickly. You can also connect the drip feeder if you have the drip irrigation system in your garden. Well, now let's check out the pros or the reasons to grow tomatoes upside down. On number 1. Small space gardening. You can grow tomatoes with little to no garden space. If you have a small balcony, you can grow them easily. Then on number 2. Flexibility. Tomatoes need full sun and if you do not have sufficient sunlight in one area like in a balcony, you can easily shift to another area with full sunlight. Like for example, east facing balcony for morning sun and then west facing balcony for evening sun. And moreover, they can be easily moved away from bad weather conditions. On number 3. No staking or cages required. Staking is usually required to help the plant support the weight of the growing fruits. Smaller varieties like cherry tomatoes do well when grown upside down. On number 4. Pests and diseases are limited. One reason is they are hung at a height and there is good air circulation around and the soil borne diseases are limited. Now let's look at the cons or the drawbacks of the system. On number 1. Requires more frequent watering like at least daily watering and hence difficult to grow in summer season. So, you can mulch the top with some mulching stuff to avoid water evaporation too quickly or you can connect your drip feeder if you have a drip irrigation system in your garden. On number 2, weight bearing problem. When the plant is loaded with fruits, this system can have problems, especially with beef stick tomatoes. Smaller cherry tomatoes are the best to grow in this inverted planters. On number 3, fruit ripening issue. Tomatoes need sunlight to ripen the fruits. Fruits may not ripen well due to sunlight issues at the bottom part. Then on number 4, U-shaped bends and turns. 
this happens due to phototropism where the tips of the branches turn upwards towards the sunlight and cause these u-shaped bends and turns but nonetheless every hobby gardener must give this a try please like share and comment below with your feedback and queries happy gardening